I'm now joined on the phone by Richard Weir, a Myanmar researcher and fellow with the advocacy group Human Rights Watch. He's based in Bangladesh at the moment. Richard, thanks for joining us. We heard what Aung San Suu Kyi said uh, in, the, uh, in her remarks. She also said most Muslims are staying in their homes and that more than 50 percent of their villages are intact. Is there a way to know what the situation is right now in Rakhine State? Uh, well, thanks for having me. Well, the Aung San Suu Kyi's remarks about uh, the vast majority of people, uh, of Muslims of Rohingya, staying in their homes, while technically there are more than 50 percent staying in their homes, what we're seeing is on a 400,000 Rohingya that have fled. And the Myanmar government has a, has a concerted effort to block attempts um, by international monitors, such as Human Rights Watch um, and the UN and foreign journalists, to conduct independent uh, investigations into what's happened. But what I can tell you is from here, every individual that we've spoken with has described the brutal attacks by the military and what is uh, what is clearly a, a, a broad and, and violent uh, overreaction by the Burmese security forces following the attacks on the 30 outposts on August 25th. Well, the army in Myanmar says what they're doing is fighting militants, and they say they're not targeting uh, civilians. Well, that's true. They are saying that, but all of the individuals that we've spoken with here have described the army entering, uh, entering villages, firing on, uh, uh, on individuals as they flee their homes, using mortars and helicopters to attack people as they're fleeing. Uh, we have um, spoken to several individuals who have witnessed uh, dozens of their fellow video, uh, villagers uh, shot as they have attempted to flee. Uh, this is not a uh, this is not a, a measured uh, counterinsurgency operation uh, of the kind that Aung San Suu Kyi suggests is, is uh, happening in uh, in Burma. Uh, Richard, you're in Bangladesh. What is the situation there with these refugees? Do they have? Uh, enough food, enough water, do they have a safe shelter, and is Bangladesh really equipped to deal with these kinds of numbers? As you mentioned, more than 400,000 have fled the Rakhine state and are now in Bangladesh. The situation here is absolutely dire. Uh, the, the people that have fled, the Rohingya population that has fled from, from northern Rakhine state over the past few weeks fled with almost nothing. Some were able to grab a, a few loose items from their homes. Others fled with absolutely nothing and described to us crossing mountain ranges, eating leaves for days on end. Uh, women that are, uh, that are pregnant or have small children are no longer lactating, and so they can't feed their babies. Uh, the heavy rains in Bangladesh have made the situation uh, much more dire. Um, causing people to be flooded out of their already uh, uh, miserable conditions uh, where they're living under small tarps and mud floors. And uh, aid distribution uh, here, while it is ongoing, is still unorganized, uh, making it difficult for anybody who is flooded to receive the kind of support that they need. And the Bangladesh government is, is attempting to respond, but it needs the support of the international yeah. uh, community to address this crisis. Richard Weir, um, you certainly uh, added another dimension to the story about the conditions in Bangladesh. We appreciate it. Thank you.